It's Heratopia and I am doing another What Would Ash Do video. Man, that first video came out and when I tell you them emails came, it's just like, dang, I didn't even realize y'all was paying attention to me like that. <laughs> I'm like, geez, I'm getting like randoms. You know what I mean? Like I shouldn't have this many emails and I barely got this many subscribers. So like, y'all want advice? But y'all want to subscribe? Where they do that at? I'm going to need y'all to get right and get tight. For real. But I do have another one for you. And um, some of these are getting like juicier and juicier and juicier. And it's like we read these things in these urban novels. But it's just like people are living these things like in real life. I have a friend who I tell all the time, you know what I mean? Girl, your story is so juicy, you could write a book. And she may or she may not. I won't ever tell you unless she's ready for me too. But it's just these stories, oh my God, these emails, I should say, they're not stories, but they could be. These emails are juicy, okay? So this one says, Heretopia, my name is I have been with my boyfriend for two years. Neither of us have kids and we may never have them because my mother is such a negative Nancy. She always wants to ruin our relationship by putting negative thoughts in my head. I stopped sharing things with her a long time ago and I feel like now she cries for more info. She doesn't like my boyfriend because we fight over his ex. And she doesn't get that he doesn't want to be with her, which is our problem. She, huh? Okay, the mom doesn't get that the boyfriend doesn't want to be with the ex. All right. Which is our problem. She won't go away. And he doesn't entertain her. Please help. Okay. Okay. An ex can't stick around if your boyfriend won't allow her. So if he, if you, you say that he's not entertaining her because he may not be entertaining her to you or in front of you or, you know what I mean? Like you may not see him entertaining her, but he could be at work texting her, texting her and like, what you doing? That's entertainment. Why are you worried about what your ex is doing? Y'all don't have no kids, right? So why are you worried about what your ex is doing or what you doing this weekend? entertainment he's entertaining her in some shape way or form to the point where she won't go away you say she won't go away and he's not entertaining her but i'm telling you whether you really kind of want to hear it or not he is giving her some shape way form or a misleading entertainment entertainment so that she is still sticking around trying to get all up in his business and everything else she could be doing this also to break you two up so that she can slide in either way you guys can't be broken up unless he allows it no one can enter your relationship unless he allows it so if he if you say he's not entertaining her then you don't have anything to worry about right you shouldn't be worried about nothing he should be nipping anything that may or may not happen in the bud Plain and simple. She, he get a text from her, delete. He get a, a call from her, delete. Hit the button on her, send her the voicemail. You understand what I'm saying? Like there, I don't know. He might be entertaining her in some way or form. So that's something y'all need to talk about. On the hand of your mother, Um, that's your mom. You're the one that needs to sit her down and say, I need you to mind your business. Yes, you've stopped sharing information with her, but the fact that you began to share information with her, now it's just like you allowed her foot in the door of your relationship. Just like that a movie, Not Easily Broken with Taraji Henson and Morris Chestnut. Morris Chestnut. <laughs> 
but her mother was in the relationship because she allowed it and then she had to stand up to her mama at the end of the video i mean at the end of the movie and just be like you got to get out i want my man back so you want to stand up to your mama put your big girl drawers on and tell her like no mm -mm. if you feel like she's talking down about your boyfriend and you really want to be with this guy she's saying negative things about your boyfriend to you don't entertain her with it don't reply to her comment she like if she says something to the story like, oh did he hear from his ex so mom you know when are we who's making thanksgiving this weekend it ain't none of her business if his ex is texting her don't even don't entertain your mama that's it he needs not to be entertaining the ex and you need not to be entertaining your mama i'm very sure at that <laughs> So when she says certain things, you just got to brush it right off your shoulder and move right past it and keep it pushing. Don't even bother giving her no answers, no feedback, no look, no, no. She don't need to know nothing that you don't want her to know. Okay. Now at the same time, mamas know. Mamas know. And I'm saying this because my mama knew and my mama knew. When she said, I don't like him, or, you know, he ain't the one, or this, is that, and the third, she was right. I didn't want to hear it, but in the end, she was right. And when she told me, oh, I like him, that's the one, she was right. So, it's, I mean, you may want to keep in the back of your mind what your mom is saying, but at the same time, you have to make the final decision on what you choose to do and don't let allow your mother to interfere with your thoughts and your actions. You are a grown woman. No one can make you do anything that you choose not to do because at the end of the day, it's your choice. All right. So I want you guys to let me know what you would say to this. I want to call it a reader, but you would, what, what, how would you reply to this email? Let me know if like you understand where I'm coming from with my advice. And I want you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. Keep your emails coming and you can email me for advice at www, no, yeah, www.ashdo at gmail.com. What would Ash do? All right, and I'll see you guys later. Toodles. Y'all haters corny with that Illuminati mess. Bop